All right, so I want to divide this polynomial function by this one using long division. So when I set this up, one thing you want to do is you want to include the x term, which is missing over here. You want to always include missing terms anyway. So I'm going to write this as x squared plus 0x minus 8. This is going to make it a lot easier to divide. All right, so let's start with this division. x4 divided by x squared is just x squared. Then I'll multiply x squared by this whole equation and subtract it over here. So x squared times x squared is x4. These two, two should always be the same. x squared times 0x is plus 0x cubed. And x squared times negative 8 is negative 8x squared. Now I'll subtract these two. The first two should always give me 0. 4x cubed minus 0x cubed is still 4x cubed. No change there. Negative 3x squared minus negative 8x squared. That's negative 3 plus 8, which is plus 5x squared. So I complete the subtraction. I'll bring down the next term. I'll follow the same process again. 4x cubed divided by x squared is just 4x. I'll do 4x times this whole thing over here, and I'll subtract it. So 4x times x squared is 4x cubed. 4x times 0x is 0x squared. And 4x times negative 8 is negative 32x. Let's do our subtraction. This is just 0. This is just 5x squared. Negative 6 minus negative 32 is positive 26x. Bring down the last term. So this is the last time I'm going to do the same steps. 5x squared divided by x squared is just 5. And then I'll do 5 times this whole equation and subtract it here. So 5 times x squared is 5x squared. 5 times 0x is just 0x. 5 times negative 8 is negative 40. I'll do the subtraction. So I get 26x. Negative 7 plus 40 is plus 33. And this is just my remainder. So my final solution is the top. x squared plus 4x plus 5 plus the remainder, which is 26x plus 33 over the divisor, which is just x squared minus 8.